Hi, I'm back again, and I'm here to record my makeup look for today. Um, it is going to match the outfit I'm wearing today. Um, I have on a green top and tan um, skirt, and I have on leopard print shoes. So I'm going to kind of draw the colors out of my outfit to create my um, uh, my look today. And I'm going to, I guess I'm going to call it um, Anniversary Gold. We'll call it that. Even though it's not my golden anniversary, but um, I just wanted something that's going to look nice for my anniversary today. So uh, before I start any look, I have tools that I use. And um, I use Motives Eye Base. Um, I've had this stuff forever. Um, and I apply a thin coat of that over my eye. Now I know you're used to seeing people who use their hands to apply their um, eye base, but um, I have really long nails. And I probably take my eye out if I use my nails, my fingers to apply my eye base. So I use this as a thin coat first. Get it good and filled in. And after I get that on my eye, I apply the my MAC groundwork as my second coat of um, eye base. I really hate creases, and I found that if I mix two different kinds, my eye base is stronger, as opposed to when I just use one kind. And I've seen some other tutorials as well who use two different kinds. And I can see why. I mean, it's just, if I see a crease, I'm like ready to die. Because it just destroys the whole look of whatever you're trying to achieve. And I try and take it out of the corners that where it's gone too far over. And then I'll use my hand. I like to use an even look on both sides. Which is hard because you're eyes are never asymmetrical so um then i like to start with a lighter color um down in the corner um today i'm going to use uh let's see what brush i'm going to use i'm going to use my ss239 to start my look and i'm using for my i dream the same thomas in nick um because i just found out recently i was mispronouncing it NYX palette. I'm going to use this pretty uh, color here. It's kind of like a light tannish gold color. I'm going to apply that first in the inner corner. And I don't even like to try to make that go all the way across because it's not necessary because I like to blend a couple of different colors to achieve my look. After I get that in, I have a darker color, kind of like a bronzy color, and it's also from a NYX palette, and it's from the I Dream of Aruba look, and I'm going to use that, and I'm going to start kind of like in the middle, and I'm going to bring it over, since I've kind of done the corner, and I'll bring that all the way the end. And I'll do that on the other side. Make sure they're both even. One side is a little darker than the other.
And sometimes you have to do it a couple times until you get it to achieve the look that you want it to, to be. And then after that, I'm going to use my MAC um, 217. And I'm just going to blend it over a little. Now, I don't always blend before I add my pop of color. But today I am because I'm really trying to achieve kind of like that gradual tan to brown bronzy color. And then I'm going to take my SS 275 and I have a really light golden color that I use a lot. And um, it's here from my ultimate palette. And I use that pretty much to just define my, my brow bone. I do this all the time because it's just it's that nice light golden color that it just makes any look that I do pop. And then to kind of like finish the look out, I have like a, it's not a pencil brush, but it's a crease brush that I got from um, Sonia Keisha, that Target brand brush. And um, I'm going to refer back to the original palette, which um, is the I Dream of Thing Promise, again. But I'm going to use that really nice mint green color in the corner. And I'm going to take that color and I'm going to just put it in my crease. And, you know, everyone says, you know, you do the V, and I'm sure you already know this. And I do look a little V, and then I try to bring it across my crease. I only want to stay in the crease because I really don't want to smear the work I've done elsewhere. 